If you're not already watching Technology and Friends, I'm going to highly recommend that you do. I'm going to start watching all of the back ones that I've missed and uh, keep watching forward. So definitely go watch Technology and Friends. Dave's doing a fantastic job. Thank you. Bye. I'm so grateful to technology because it's introduced me to so many friends, not only just local to me, but worldwide. And I love being able to interact with them and meet them whenever I travel for my job. When I changed career to one in technology, it really opened up an entire world to me with travel to conferences and basically lots of events everywhere. And it also allowed me to make so many amazing new friends. Thank you for being my friend in technology, David. I love hanging out with you all the time. I'm super thankful that I have technology right now that keeps me up to date with my friends while I'm stuck at home. Dev around the sun. Bringing together technology. And friends. From around the world for a common cause. Stay safe, everyone. A lot of people say that technology is not a very a place where you find a lot of people and it's not very social, but honestly, most of my friends actually come out of the tech scene and it's full of awesome people. Maybe the best technology is the friends we made along the way. I'm so glad we became friends over talking about technology. Technology is where I found all of my friends through the developer community. Hello from London to Technology Friends. I really love the technology because it allows me to be connected with my friends. So I think the the thing I like best about doing these kinds of podcasts and these types of virtual interviews is the fact that technology can help bring friends together. Technology is your friend as long as you know how to use them. When you are burned out doing technology, remember all of the friends you've made in this industry and it'll reinvigorate you. And remember in this time of COVID-19, we may be locked down, but what will keep us sane is technology and friends. Implementing a cloud technology environment for your friends and yourself can be a big challenge. You will need to get guidance from the Azure Cloud Adoption Framework. I hope that as an industry, we continue to work on making technology more equitable for our friends that don't look like us. I really enjoy using technology to stay in touch with friends and to lift friends up. And that's the whole point. I came for the technology. I stayed for the friends. Come to Tech Olympics, engage with Enter Alliance, because that's where you can learn technology and gain more friends. No matter how large your project is, technology can be your friend. What is better than spending your afternoon talking about technology with your friends? Technology and friends are alike. They're not one big thing. They're a million little things. Works. And I wrote a blog post recently that said, friends don't let friends use slow Wi-Fi technology. So there's a good one for you. If you've got friends out there and you're wondering what to do during this downtime, help them remotely, not in person, <laughs> remotely set up good Wi-Fi technology because friends don't let friends use bad Wi-Fi technology. Hey friends who work in technology, uh, I just want to say that we have a great deal of power to affect change in humanity. And I think about this pretty frequently, we should use that power to really do good. And so I challenge you in your daily jobs to think about the work that you're doing and the effect that it could have on humanity as a whole or seek out side projects that could be doing good things uh, you know uh, for humanity hey there my name is jeff fritz and i am social distancing from my technology and my friends david i'm glad that we were able to use this technology to keep up our friendship i've enjoyed knowing you over these years and I look forward to continuing our relationship, hopefully in person at some point after this lockdown is over. Thanks. Thank you, friends, for joining me today on the Technology and Friends show. And I hope that you have a great rest of the day and that you can get started building applications with Microsoft Graph. See you all next time. In these troubling times, things go smoother with Technology and Friends. Everything's better when you've got Technology and Friends. You know, David, all my friends tell me that my kids know technology a whole lot better than me. In this pressing time that we're all living in today, it's amazing to be able to use technology to still connect with my friends, like my friend David. In these current very strange times, we may be uh, missing our friends, and I certainly am, but at least we have the technology to get in touch with them virtually, as today. Uh, it's, been, it's been great to catch up 
and why not think about that person that you haven't caught up with during the pandemic and you kind of are missing? Give them a call. I'm really excited to have been able to share my passion for technology with my friends. I have always said when you go to deploy your application, friends don't let friends right click publish. And I think that's true regardless of what technology you're using, whether you're deploying an application, a database, a predictive model or anything. Friends don't let friends right click publish. I would say I love this interview um, and I hope it inspired anyone who's listening to uh, pick up technology. And if your prime technology becomes Azure, I'm pretty sure we can become friends. Make friends and be a friend during your journey in technology. Right now you might be at home and sort of craving that socialization that you used to have at the office. Uh, my product and project Capacito is a really great platform and tool for you to use to make new friends with folks in technology and with folks that are really excited to just meet new people from all over the globe. During the pandemic, it's been a real shame that I haven't been able to be with my friends, but at least I've been with my technology. Well, it's been quite the pleasure to talk about technology with new friends. One of the great things about open source is that we're all friends together in technology. Do you know, it's been absolutely cracking that this evening, through the power of technology, I've managed to do an interview and make a new friend who's completely the other side of the planet, and I haven't left my chair. What brings us together in this room of the world is, is technology, and, and what brings people together is the friends and memories they create. Now, together in this show, technology and friends, uh, it's just two good things coming together two of all of our collective passion. I have a lot of friends that I normally see at technology conferences, and I have dearly missed hanging out with them and getting to see them and talk with them. Uh, and you know, occasionally we connect over Zoom or some other uh, chat client, but uh, that's what I'm missing the most about this, this pandemic and being shut in is, is my technology friends and the chats we have. So thanks for reaching out. I think something that's really unique about the STEM challenges and the mentor matching engine is how much technology is threaded through. Um, so you sometimes don't realize as a student, you say, I'm not good at computer science. I'm not strong in technology. And then we say, well, you're on your cell phone. You're using a virtual platform to connect with your mentor. You've probably used AI all the time with a chat bot or Siri on your phone. You didn't even think about it. So they are actually more friendly with technology. Technology is their friend. They just don't realize that they have those skills because it's so embedded in their day-to-day. -day. All right, I'd like to thank uh, you for giving us the opportunity to come on here today uh, and talk about uh, technology uh, through a, a shared mutual friend, uh, Lino Tadros. Absolutely, Perfect. thank you very much. One last thing, friends. I believe those of us in technology have an incredible opportunity to impact our workplaces, our families, and our entire world through the power of technology. And I hope that you take this information and the other stuff that you're learning and you get out there and you be awesome. David, last time I was on your show, I said we were living in a simulation well, friends, it's time to reboot that technology because we've all seen what has happened to 2020. It's time for a restart. Is there a correlation between friends that you choose and the technology that they use? D3 is a great technology, but it can be your best friend or your worst nightmare, depending on how it's implemented. Hey, everyone. I just wanted to say that David is really awesome. I met him at a technology conference and he is one of my greatest friends. I am, I've missed the tech community. And so for me, I think it's gonna be super exciting to get back out into the technology community and hang out and learn with all of our friends. Friends with technology. And that's what you've seen here today. Many of my friends have come from a shared passion of technology. You can pick your friends and you can pick your technology but you can't pick your friend's technology. If the global pandemic has taught us anything, it is to value our developer communities. Uh, amazing things happen when we put technology and friends together. Relational and couch-based technology can be friends. Working with technology is always fun when you're doing it with friends. As a software developer, there's nothing more satisfying than building fascinating applications with interesting technology and coworkers that are also friends.
when it comes to technology, um, it's rarely about the the tools and the applications, and it's always more about the friends you make along the way and the the things you learn from them and with them. Technology always changes, but friends will stay with you um, for for a lot more. If you're in technology, let's be friends. Well, you know, one of the reasons I make those geek outs is to get a chance to explain really unusual technology to my friends. I was told not to start this with word so, so I'm going to start it with instead instead. <laughs> I'm here today at Kansas City Developer Conference in, unsurprisingly, Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, Kansas City is Missouri, it's not in Kansas, it's not in Arkansas. And uh, hanging out here uh, with uh, all my friends talking about all kinds of great technology. It's a good time, hope to see you on the road sometime. I'm thrilled to be here in Kansas City, reconnecting with friends again and getting to have all kinds of wonderful conversations about what it's like to be a technologist and to be in technology. So this has been a great experience at the Kansas City Developer Conference. I love technology. I love all the things that I can do with technology, but I think the thing that I really enjoy most about it is the ability for me to connect closer with my friends and family. Yeah, and I'm you know really thankful for uh, the technology to help us connect friends, customers, allies, and foes, and everybody in between. You know, that's really what kind of like drives me forward, you know, as a technologist and academic as well. So what I like most about working on technology is that I I'm doing it for my friends, right? When I work on things like C Sharp Language and .NET and Roslyn or Visual Studio and all these things that I've even when I worked on C Sharp or Visual Studio Code. Um, the sorts of people that I'm working on those products for are people that, I mean, they're like me. And uh, and in a lot of cases, those are my friends, and I really enjoy that. And, uh, you know, next time we do this, we're going to maybe have some soda pops, we'll talk about more technology, and hang with our friends. I like it a lot. <laughs> Feedback is one of the most important life skills you can master. Not only does it allow you to do better things with your work with technology, but it allows you to have better relationships with your family and friends. I'm here at the CodeMash conference. We're here talking about software and technology, and my favorite part is spending time with so many friends I've made from this industry. It's an awesome time. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Sasha Rosenbaum, and it's a pleasure to meet you here. And I absolutely love community work around technical spaces because some of the best friends that I've made are in the technology world, and I just I think that investing in community spaces and community work, such as DevOps Days conferences, which I love, um, is going to come help us come better together and, and solve problems together. When my friends reach out to me about a technology, I like to find a creative use of it. I like to find a way to put my creativity to apply that technology. So the things that I have in mind are, well, how do I be creative with blockchain? How do I be creative with AI and machine learning? How do I be creative with code? So that's how I look at uh, technology in a creative lens. Use GitHub, a great place to work on technology with your friends. And I just want to say, Kentucky bourbon goes best with technology and friends. One thing that really happened this past year as we, we spend a lot more time at home and alone and everything is we're separated from our friends and our family. And it's really technology that helped me stay connected to the people I care about, to my friends, and allowed us to really interact. And it's been interesting to see that new role of technology in keeping us connected. One of the things I love about technology is not just that it's cool, but that it's enabled me to meet many friends in real life through um, LiveJournal in the early 2000s, through an instant messenger, through you know, Slack, Twitter, all sorts of online communities I'm in now. I've loved that I've been able to make friends and interact with people through technology. It's been really wonderful and I look forward to uh, when the world opens up post pandemic and uh, I can still meet people with technology, but I don't have to rely on it as much as my only way of interacting with friends. I'm very grateful for technology as it has helped me make some of the best friends in my life. And the use of technology has also helped me maintain closeness with my friends and family as we go through 
the isolation re uh, related to COVID and the pandemic? When it comes to security, um, it's you're better off uh, using the right technology with the help of your friends that can uh, provide that insight. If you've got friends in the IT industry uh, working on security, it's uh, it's certainly advantageous to to talk to them, especially in the current context. Friends don't let friends give friends bad technology. Technology in the hands of an entrepreneur can change the world, but it might take a few friends to get there. Technology is one of the best ways to find new friends, bring friends together, especially in this pandemic, maybe post pandemic world. Uh, so thank you very much, friends. <laughs> so during COVID, I reconnected to all my childhood friends using the wonders of modern technology. And 100 years ago, I wouldn't have been able to do that. So I'm very happy. I entered the industry for my love of technology. But what I found is an amazing community of friends and one thing I'll never forget is that IT is a team sport and it's made up of uh, people. What, what the last year has taught us is that technology can help bring friends closer together, even from long distances away, no question of that. But I think we also have this sense that um, technology can make us friends in the whole social media movement, um, that I can friend people on Facebook and people that I've never met people I've never spent any time with are now my friends. And I think, you know, I, I think we want to really understand the difference between people I've connected to in social media and people I'm genuinely friends with. Um, and I would submit to anybody out there that, you know, friends are people who will come over at two o'clock in the morning because the power is out and you know, you need something. And and I will I will give a shout out to Dave Starr because a tree fell in our driveway and Dave drove up, 45 minute drive for him with a chainsaw just to carve out the tree so that, you know, Charlotte and I could get out of the house to go shopping. That's a friend, right? Friends are the people that you lean on. Technology can help us be better friends, but technology doesn't make us friends. When, uh, when the world shut down, I was in Europe and we flew home March 13th, two hours, two hours before the travel ban came into effect. And that meant I didn't see my friends anymore, right? Everything was just stopped. And uh, a, a good friend of mine was like, you know, you're, you're going to need a, a project. And I, <laughs> I need lots of things. I need to get out. I need to go back to building tech. He goes, no, you, you need a project. And, and that's why I started doing this blog series, because it gave me an opportunity to explore technology. Uh, not just, you know, the latest security thing, but what did technology mean in the 1920s when it was a radio? What did technology mean in the 1950s when we were revolutionizing uh, sewing machines? What did it mean in the 90s when, when the iMac came out and just blew my mind that a computer could look that way? And uh, it's been so much fun because I get to reach out, I get to talk to, you know, friends like you, I get to reach out to other folks. I've interviewed some designers uh, and it's uh, it's been my way of surviving what we're all going through. And, and, and yesterday I was, uh, for some reason, uh, one of my uh, old uh, friends uh, came, came to my mind, uh, Microsoft uh, Microsoft community legend, uh, Josh Holmes, right? Uh, for some reason, he, he just came to my mind. Uh, it might have been because I was thinking about technology and friends, and I, I ended up thinking, man, it's been too long. I don't get to, get on, I don't get to see him uh, anymore. Or uh, to be quite honest, I don't get to see so many of the friends that, that I developed over the years that that came into my life because of technology, right? So if you think about the co camps, the conferences, you know, part of what makes those events so great, it's not just the content that you learn, you know, that, that that's that's definitely good, but it's it's those friendships that you develop with people uh, that that really do last, you know, a lifetime. So, well, I hope this has been interesting and informative for you. Uh, really excited to have uh, talked with you about this at Codemash, David. It's always a pleasure. To run into you this time of year i know it seems like code mesh tends to be a almost like a reunion right so uh anyway it's really fun uh being here in code mesh i enjoy the time i enjoy running the maker space and i also want to let my anyone watching the channel go on to youtube search for greg's maker corner uh and you'll find me there if you're interested in learning how to build something like this guy here which is the boron 0.1 that i mentioned um, there's a lot of a lot of good technology, a lot of friends that come and visit us here at Codemash, and uh, I'll, I'll just mention 
I've got my daughter here this year helping too, so. Make uh, the soldering kits. Twitch.tv slash lay them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. I want to make sure everybody is uh, aware and, and, and knows how much I, I, I feel that this is important. The We are in the downward slide of the Omicron variant right now when this is being recorded. And it the social aspect of what we do is very, very important. But that we can't do that unless we're safe. So I just want to tell everyone, all of my technology friends out there and all of my friends in general, please be safe first. Put safety first and then we'll be able to get back together soon and and you know be in person and and do our thing like we always do but uh, stay safe first and uh, i hope all of you are safe and healthy and happy and uh, thank you for this opportunity david one of my favorite things about this industry is the friends that you make along the way technology is the thing that binds us together but we're friends based on things that have nothing to do with technology the games that we play the places we like to go the foods we eat and drink that's the things that really build friendships inside this industry. We work together on the same technology, but you really become friends based off of what's away from that screen. The thing I love about teaching uh, technology to people is that I get to see people come into technology and learn new things and get excited about the things that, that I learned, uh, that I've learned to love. And I get to see these people really come through and enjoy that same stuff. And by the time they're done, uh, by the time I'm done teaching them at our 14 week program, um, they're they're honestly friends of mine and uh, they get to go on and learn new things with new technologies that I'd never even encountered before. And I get to learn new things just by remaining friends with these people. Uh, and so that's one of the reasons I became an educator and one of the reasons why I love uh, teaching technology. Hello, my name is Russ Festino. Two things I'm very excited about. One is technology. It really is, amazing how technology has uh, progressed over the years and to be able to witness that firsthand uh, you know how things have evolved has just been amazing and um, I know when I left school I was happy you know I'm done with my education out of college you know and guess what you keep having to learn uh, no matter what you do and the second thing is friends friends um are great. You know, when it's all said and done, you'd be remembered for three things, friends, family, and community. And uh, so friends is a big part of that. And um, uh, I think uh, it goes a long way uh, when you got some good friends and you can't have enough good friends uh, in this day and age. So anyway, been a pleasure um, being on technology and friends and uh, look forward to the next podcast. Take care. I, I've been uh, working with technology uh, for a, a long time and what never ceases to amaze me is, you know, the number of friends I've made over the years because of this and uh, it, it is it is absolutely um, satisfying in my career to have the ability to um, not only work with some of the newer technologies that are out there but also make new friends based on you know, uh, some of the projects that we work together on or, you know, some of the events uh, like we had today where we get to meet um, and uh, build on our friendships that uh, have lasted a lot of years. But the common thread in all of this is our passion for technology. Technology is what allowed my father to, to hear. Technology is what is allowing me these days to, to talk with friends all over the world, such as uh, David. This very morning, uh, I chatted with a friend of mine who lives in Genoa, asking how are things going over there. So, technology is what something we can build upon in order to make life better for us, for our friends, and for 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 all the people. I like to think that. I should be building technology that I would want my friends to use or my friends would like to use. I like to build technology, keeping my friends in mind because I think that it's very easy to get out of touch with the customer or the user or the end goal. 
And if I think that I keep in mind, keep it at a personal level of thinking, would my friends like, would my friends use this and be satisfied? Or would they tell me, why are you making this part so difficult? Why is this so complicated? Um, why are you, why did you choose to do this? Um, so I feel like keeping it, thinking about it, like if I were to demo this to a friend or a family member, um, what would they really say about it? Because friends will tell you the truth, um, hopefully. Um, so I think that I just personally try making technology that my friends could use, my friends would enjoy. Um, I think that's a good mindset in some in some aspects of technology. Well, David, it's been great using technology to talk to one of my friends about technology. Thank you for watching Technology and Friends.